Good afternoon, America. Welcome back to Unloaded with Grace Boatwright. I'm your host, Grace Boatwright. Today we're going to be taking apart Sig Sauer's P230 stainless steel model. I love this gun. This is what I call a forever gun. I've had this gun over 10 years, and I'm probably going to have it forever. SIG started making this in 1977, so it's definitely not a new model gun. I think they quit making it in the mid-90s, but as far as I know, everyone who has one has kept it because it's really just a great shooting gun. It's nice and compact. It makes for a great carry gun. Uh, this particular model is stainless steel. It comes in other finishes as well, uh, and among other things, it is pretty easy to disassemble, clean, and reassemble. This particular P230 is stainless steel. It does come in other finishes. Uh, unlike some of the guns uh, we've done on the show so far, this one has a European mag release style. Releases from the bottom like so. Um, it's also a double single action, unlike some of the guns we've done on the show so far. Uh, can fire in double or single action mode. If you happen to be in uh, single action mode, you can just easily decock it, set the hammer back down, nice and easy. Uh, it's about 6.6 .6 inches long, about uh, 3.5 inches on the barrel, and unloaded weighs about 20 ounces, so nice and light, particularly for being uh, a stainless steel gun. The magazine uh, holds seven, and then one in the chamber for a total of eight. Uh, it's really just a great carry gun. Like I said, I've had this gun forever, and uh, I can't wait to, uh, to field strip it and show you how it all works. I think this was uh, supposed to be modeled after the Walther PPK, which came out about the same time. Uh, but unlike the Walther, it does have some minor improvements, uh, specifically when you're about to take it apart. The Walther, um, as you might recall, runs on the, the trigger guard system where you have to pull the trigger guard down and move it over to the side. It doesn't always make for the most comfortable disassembly. Uh, but here with the P230, it's nice. You get the takedown lever right here, and you're just going to flip that down um, proceed to take it apart. Before we do that, of course, we're going to check that we are unloaded, which we are. Another thing I really want to note is that you might be kind of looking at it and going, okay, now where's the slide lock? Um, don't worry, you are not crazy. There is no slide lock on this. The mechanics are such that if you want to lock the slide back, it will only lock back on an empty magazine with the magazine still inserted. See, watch, when I try to lock it back now, it won't lock back. Take the mag, reinsert the mag, and boom, now it's locked back. So um, don't worry if you've uh, been looking for that slide lock, it's not there at all. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the mag. I'm gonna set it down like so, and then you're just gonna flip that takedown lever down, and from here, you just pull on the slide, lift it up, and boom, slide comes off nice and easy. We're gonna slip that recoil spring off of the fixed barrel. Uh, fixed barrel is always nice. It really adds a lot of accuracy to the gun um, and makes it a little easier to clean, a little fewer parts to, uh, to worry about taking off. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and start to clean it. Just like we've cleaned, you know, any other uh, firearm, I like to start with the breakup, cleanup, lube up routine. Taking a brush, just sort of getting into the grooves there, breaking up all that old powder, getting all the old gunk that's been caked in there. I did put about a you know, box and a half through it the other day, so it's gonna be nice and dirty. Um, got some live, real world cleaning to do here. Kinda wanna get that breech plate. It is a um, firing pin mechanism, not the striker fire. Um, same with the, uh, with the frame here. As you can see, um, you've really got a lot going in the frame here. The barrel is fixed, and so it's going to be, you're just going to get into that magazine well, break up some of that old powder. Same with the hammer back here. Um, but before we go too far into the frame, let's go ahead and clean the barrel. So ideally, when you have a fixed barrel, what you really um, want to try to do is clean it from breech to muzzle. I say try because that won't always be an option. Depending on the firearm, you might have a lot of little parts back here sticking up, and so it'll be kind of hard to get the rod past those. On this P230, that shouldn't be too hard at all. We should be able to pretty easily go from breech to muzzle end. We're just gonna carefully, here we go. Oh my gosh, did you see all that? Ah, okay, shame on me. I definitely should have cleaned this the second I left the range. All right, so we're just gonna get all that in there, and if you possibly can help it, kind of want to take the brush off 
before you do that too many times. Otherwise, you're just pulling all that gunk right back into the, uh, into the action. I'm gonna do that a couple of times. Break up all that old powder, and we should be good to go. Now, another thing I'd like to note on this, uh, on this P230 is right here, as you can see, um, as I was describing earlier, you have the slide lock uh, mechanism that really only works when the magazine is inserted. Um, you can sort of see this little, this little part here, the slide catch device. See how that came right off? Now, if you're not careful, it is pretty easy to dislodge that, and you really, really um, don't want to lose that little slide catch spring in there. Um, it could pretty easily pop out of there, and then you're going to, you know, have to reinstall it which takes a little while and um, most importantly you just you don't want to lose it all together so let me just quickly reassemble this you kind of have to come at it at an angle but then boom right back ready to go but whatever you do be really conscious of that and don't lose that spring okay so now we're just gonna take a little cleaning cloth here we're gonna put it through that eyelet or that cloth holder whatever you want to call it we're gonna put it right back on the rod. And I actually, for this, will put just a little bit of cleaner on it, not too much. I don't like to get the inside of the barrel too lubed up, uh, but this is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna stick it through. Yeah, all right, bring that right back through. It's not too bad. All right, cool. And there we should be looking into a really nice, shiny, clean barrel, and we are. So from here, you're going to take another cleaning cloth and get a little cleaner on it and then just proceed to wipe up all of that powder that we just broke up. Like I said, you still want to be really careful of that slide catch spring uh, set up there. Definitely don't want to be losing that. A little bit of cleaner over the barrel. The barrel itself really doesn't get too dirty. Um, but get that rod down there get that magazine well nice and clean this really is a great shooting gun um, like I said there's a reason I've had it forever um, and actually my um, inspiration for using it on the show today uh, was when I was watching TV the other night flipping through channels and came across the departed one of my favorite movies of all times and uh, noticed that this is the gun that Leo DiCaprio uses uh, throughout the movie. <laughs> now, um, we're just gonna do the same, uh oh, before I lube up anything, let's go ahead and clean the slide. The slide is gonna get nice and dirty, and so you really wanna be conscious of that. Take your time getting that nice and clean. Oh yeah, look how dirty that is. Oh yeah, look how dirty that was. Shame on me. I definitely should have done this when I left the range. Not let it bake in there for a few days. Now that everything's nice and clean, now we're just going to lube up the rails a little bit and really anywhere where you see metal on metal contact. Now you're not going to need too much. A little bit goes a long way. But you do want to make sure it operates nice and smoothly. All right. Now, as you go to put the recoil spring back on, keep in mind there is a uh, small end and a larger end. And if you just sort of take your pinky, uh, you see, yep, it goes a lot farther on that end. That's the small end. And it's the small end that you're gonna put on first. And you're gonna kind of twist it on a little bit. There you go, just like so. And then you're gonna take the slide and get it tucked in right there. And then you're just going to bring it up, and you're going to set it down on the rails nice and smooth, and you're just going to flip that takedown lever right back up again, slowly let that hammer up, and now we'll do a function check. All right, everything seems to be in proper working order. So my last tip on this little P230 is, if you have bigger hands, this isn't really an issue for me and, and most women, but if you do happen to have bigger hands, you want to be careful about the way you grip the gun. Because as that slide comes back, if you have your hand a little too high up, um, you, you could get bit by the slide. 
Um, it's never really happened to me while shooting this gun, but I have seen it happen uh, to other folks, and you really you don't want it to happen to you. So. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'm Grace Boatwright. Uh, for more cool videos and gun cleaning tips, please visit fullmagnews.com. If you'd like to reach me personally, my Twitter handle is at graceboatwright7. Look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.